Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is known for being a comedian and a funeral director. That is mm. a nice combination. And he makes daily videos about what he sees and experiences. Check this out. What in the preposterous poultry product is going on here? I'm not going to have no chitlin loaf in the world with me. We ain't going to coexist. Now, I'm, I'm going to just be straight up. I don't know who makes chitlin loaf. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you now. Look at me. When I tell you this, it's going to be chitlin loaf or it's going to be me. But we ain't going to be in the world together. Oh. <laughs> Please welcome Mr. Funny Man Shuler King. Yes. Man, I make chitterlings. But I have never seen a chicken loaf. I mean, do you slice it? Do you dice it? Do you I fry it? I don't know. But I, I'm telling you, I'm, 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 I'm going to reach out to the company. This is, no, this ain't gonna it's happen. Preposterous. Yes, <laughs> chitlins alone. I'm gonna try it. And it's no, a food. No. Yes. Chitlins alone. <laughs> right, I know. But what's not a food is you being here down to the sister circle. Yes. And your yes. videos. Yes. I'm happy to be at the sister circle. At the I'm sister so circle. Happy. <laughs> and your sister videos circle. are very lit. Thank you very much. Why? First of all, what made you start doing these videos? And how do you pick which video that you put on the, I mean, because I'm sure they all. Well, no, nah, like people just send them to me. Like people send me stuff. They, I mean, it'd be like they have kids, just and then all kinds of stuff. And they just they like, send. Okay. you know, I used to have to look for them, but now people just send them. Like, what do you think about this? What do you think mm -hmm. about that? So I just, you know, I take it and I'll take whatever I can. Yeah. Because right. I try not to, you know, I'm still, you know, I have to represent myself and my family. Right. I was gonna say, way. have there been any yeah. topics that have been just out? Landish that you can't really yeah get. some of the stuff is a little a little over the top mm. you know what yeah I mean? so i just like yeah i can't do nothing about you especially you, as a photo you know, yeah yeah <laughs> you and your lady sex life i'm not you know i don't touch all that <laughs> right, you know what i mean right, you know, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. i don't get in all that right you know? right yeah, right yeah. right but, yeah. but how did that even happen going from the family business of funeral director and embalmer to mm. Going into comedy, I know you had him dying laughing. Ha <laughs> ha, pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how did you delve into comedy? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was born into the business, mm -hmm. of course, but believe it or not, everybody in my family is funny. Mm. Everybody, my father, my grandfather was funny. I mean, you know, and the business has been there for, uh, we've been operating over 75 years. Wow. And so it was like for my great grandfather on down, so like, but everybody's funny. Right. My whole family, mm -hmm. so I just, it just, you know how you get that burning desire in your heart to do something? Mm -hmm. And I'm not the first entertainer in my family either. You know, I have had singers and, mm -hmm. you know, my uh, my uncle Bill Pinckney was uh, in the in the Drifters in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. Drifters. Yeah. Yes. My other cousin was, uh, my grandfather's first cousin was Brooke Benton. You know what I mean? From a long time ago. I know mm -hmm. these these old people. These are before y'all time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all really, really, really. babies, y'all babies. Yeah, right, but, right, right. But nonetheless, I'm not the first entertainer in my family. And then you got I had the desire to do comedy. And here you are. Yes, yeah. I just followed my heart. Right, right. Well, Eddie Murphy followed his heart a long time mm -hmm. ago. Of course, he was just on Saturday Night Live, ratings out the roof. How do you make how do you think that makes him feel knowing that he can come back and still garner those types of ratings? Listen, man, when you are blessed. <laughs> you know, when, when God has said, Hey, look, uh -huh. this is what I want you to do. Yeah. You can you you can do do what you do. Yeah. You know what I mean? How do you think he did? Oh, I think he did great. Yeah. I love Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie, yeah. Eddie got the man. Eddie's like a, you know, he's he's different. Yeah. He's like a comet. So, he you know, is. He's, he's a little different. It's a different he type is. of thing. He's, yeah. Different, different type yeah. of setup. Yeah. Different type he's, of setup. He grew up in the business. He's right. like, mm -hmm. since he was like, what, 16? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, he was on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. So, yeah, mm -hmm. come on. Eddie's different. Right, right. Okay, speaking of Eddie, who do you look up to when you see, you know, when you started out? Real quick. Like, uh, real, Richard, real quick. Richard, like, had to be. Richard Price. And Martin Lawrence. Yes. You be doing a lot of cussing in your. Listen, not in the videos. <laughs> well, thank not you so much video. for joining us today. Make sure you follow him uh, at Shula King on Instagram. Of course, he'll be at the Atlanta Comedy Theater. But if you're sticking around for the whole hour, he's staying with us for Here For It. And that's coming up uh -oh. next. Hey.